Hey guys, this is Jack from FEV Academy in partnership with GetFEV.com. Today we're going to have a closer look at the Matec Hub OSD Power Distribution Board. Now the Matec Hub OSD Power Distribution Board is the one that I personally use on all of my builds. And let me tell you exactly why I like this power distribution board. So this power distribution board has all the different outputs that you need, 5 volt, 12 volt, and then also all the soldering pads to have your ESCs connected to it. But at the same time, it's not just a power distribution board, it is also an on-screen display. So when you connect up your VTX and your camera to the specific board, you will get an on-screen display which shows four different readings. And that being, it shows you the amount of milliamp hours consumed, it shows you for how long you have been flying, it shows you the amp consumption that you have and it shows you your battery voltage. And then at the end of your flight, it gives you the minimum voltage that it dropped down to as you were flying. And it also gives you the maximum amps um, that your whole quad drew while it was flying too. So the onboard current meter is rated for 140 amps. So if you have a bigger quad that draws a lot more amps than 140, I would not recommend this. There are a few other on-screen displays and current sensors which allow for more than 140, but for any five inch mini quad, the chances that you will be drawing more than 140 amps is very, very little. So this is perfect for any five inch or four inch or maybe even a three inch mini quad that you will be building. So I really, really like this power distribution board personally, and I would recommend it if you are looking for a power distribution board and an on-screen display all in one and in a very compact and complete package. Now this specific power distribution board also comes in three different versions at the time of making this video. Matic has been really good with their boards that they've been releasing, and they've been releasing quite a few ones with different shapes and sizes, but for this video, we're only looking at the Hub OSD, the XC60 version. So this specific version, it comes with an XC60 connector. I would personally not recommend using this XC60 connector or you know putting it straight onto your board, because in a crash, if you have your LiPo plugged into this, then there's a good chance that you will break it out of your board. So what I would even recommend doing is just grabbing any normal XC60 60 with a pigtail, cut that pigtail a little bit shorter and mount that XT60 on the back so that it's loose, it's not connected to your board so that you won't break your board in a crash. Now the other two that are on the market also already has an XT60 connected to it so you don't need to then um, have that extra piece of pigtail but again I would recommend that so I wouldn't really recommend using that one and then they also have another one which is the H type which is a little bit bigger than this one with all the soldering pads on it too and then it doesn't have the big holes on the back which allows for the HC60 instead they have two solder pads which allows you to solder those pigtails onto them but all three of them have the same purpose they do the exact same thing and I would recommend any one of them if you are looking for the whole combo. And then finally, this does come with a capacitor included and I would recommend using this capacitor. Uh, just mount it as close to the battery source as you can. I personally just mount mine on the battery cables themselves. And then what this does is it just helps to allow for a more accurate display on the screen. Um, it just makes the current a little bit smoother and not as spiky. So that it is a big help, especially when you are working with very delicate um, measuring instruments on the power distribution board. Now, if you guys are interested in purchasing this power distribution board, then it is available on the getfpv.com website. There's a link in the description below if you do want to check it out. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll catch you guys in the next one.